Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the role of the team entrepreneurs. My name is Natalia Lajara and these contents have been prepared by Guillermina Tormo. We both lecture at the Universitat Politecnica de Valencia. In this video we will review what is an entrepreneur. We will compare it to a jazz band and understand their similarities. In this chart you can see in green the rates of total entrepreneurship per countries as well as in blue the part of that that comes out of employees within organizations. It results from the pursuit of new business activities inside an existing organization where entrepreneurs seek to leverage internal advantages and the organization may initiate or support their efforts. According to the Global Entrepreneurship Monitor Entrepreneurship among employees of existing organizations, lines in blue, is more prevalent in Europe. In Sweden, Germany and Cyprus, entrepreneurship is at least as likely to occur in organizations as it is in independent startups. In these countries, high employee entrepreneurship activity boots what is otherwise a comparatively low level of independent entrepreneurship. But in other countries, such as the Netherlands and Canada in North America, high levels of employee entrepreneurship complement high total early stage entrepreneurial activity rates. Kai Han Krippendorf, in his very recommended book Driving Innovation from Within, claims that only 8 of the 30 most transformative innovations were first conceived by entrepreneurs. 22 were conceived by employees. Without their inventiveness, we might not have a mobile phone to reach for in the morning, an internet to connect it to, or an email to send. Osterwalder said, business models didn't change that much 20 years ago. CEOs who take over a business model of a company manage them. You would focus on managing a proven business model by making it better and you would focus on the organization structure. Business models are expiring faster than before, especially in the tech industry, telecommunication, media, publishing, healthcare, insurance and finance. Shortly after, industries like pharma, consumer goods and food started to realize they needed to change too. The challenge for the CEO today is not just to manage a world-class organization by managing the existing business model, but at the same time to invent new business models and new revenue streams with new customers. It's what we call an ambitious organization to have the ability to do both improve and invent new business models that will disrupt or cannibalize the old one. Because if you don't start working on disrupting your own business model, you'll feel the pain of the other guys who are. As previously seen in this course, entrepreneurs were first defined by Gifford Pinchot as dreamers who do, those who take hands-on responsibility for creating innovation of any kind within a business. This activity has a positive impact on the speed and cost effectiveness of technology transfer from R plus D to marketplace. Learning to play jazz has many parallels with successful entrepreneurship. You can see also an interesting interview to Professor Davis Grayson for further detail in this link given. Just metaphors were useful in describing the entrepreneurial journey. Boot setting, jamming, paying your dues, being a sideman, joining and building a band, but above all, listening to what is happening in business and the wider world, are good descriptors of the life of a successful entrepreneurship project. All jazz musicians must do their share of boot setting, that is, developing a wide spectrum of technical skills. But it is not sufficient. Jazz musicians have to accompany others in their ensemble, as well as expressing their own musical ideas. That's being a good sideman. Furthermore, they have to develop their listening and improvisational skills. 
by playing in groups with others. That's an activity known as jamming. Only when they have paid their dues and earned the trust and confidence of their colleagues can they move ahead with their own ideas, their new ideas, even if they seem a little crazy at first. Most of the great jazz musicians have been band leaders, but all of them have done their time as sidemen. Anyone in a jazz ensemble who is not the band leader. Great jazz musicians have learned to be great team players in order to create new pieces for fellow band members to perform and others to enjoy. And finally, as a result, they can launch a large-scale music project, such as a big band or a festival involving many people. This is over in this section. You can continue to the next one. Thank you.